Mr. Spargrove has discovered a great new book. On Monday, he couldn't put it down and read a third of it. On Tuesday, he was a bit busy, but still read an eighth of the book. Wednesday was a bit better, and he read one-fourth of the book. Approximately, how much of the book does Mr. Spargrove have left to read? To recap, he read a third of the book on Monday, an eighth of the book on Tuesday, and a fourth of the book on Wednesday. Pause the video now and work out this problem on your own. When you think you've got it, press play to see the answer and how I solved it. Because you had to approximate, there were potentially two answers to this problem. Did you get one-third or one-fourth? If you got either of those, nice job. If you didn't, here's how I solved it. See if you can spot where you made your error. All right, so I want to show you how I solved this problem. Again, you want to make sure you understand what the problem is and what we're trying to do. So um, on Monday, I read a third of the book. On Tuesday, an eighth of the book. And on Wednesday, a fourth of the book. So this represents what I've already read. And what I'm trying to figure out is what is left to read. So I need to add together what I've already read. Now, I can't add these together without um, finding out what denominator they have in common. And if I look at these numbers, um, I can figure out that they share 24 in common. So uh, at this point, I need to multiply my numerator and find out uh, what my new numerator is going to be. So in order to get 24 from 3, I had to multiply by 8. So I'm going to multiply that by 8. In order to get 24 here, I had to multiply by 3, 8 times 3. And in order to get 24 here, I needed to multiply by 6. 4 times 6 is 24. So now um, uh, that's how I got 24 on those. Oops, 6. Um, so that leaves me with 8. 1 times 3 is 3. And 1 times 6 is 6. If I add this up, I get 17 24 fourths. So that's how much of the book that I've read. I've read 17 24 of the book. Now, 17 24 is not a very nice fraction, so I'm actually going to round this up to 18 24 You could also round it down to 16 24 Now, I can further reduce 18 24 um, I can divide that by 2 because both 18 and 24 can be divided by 2, and I end up with 9 12 But uh, 9 and 12 also share a number. They share a 3, so I can also divide that by 3, and I end up with 3 fourths. Now that's again how much of the book I've read, which means I have one fourth of the book left to read because 3 fourths plus 1 fourth equals one whole book. So in this case the answer is one fourth or one quarter of the book is what Mr. Spargrove has left to read. If you got that, nice job. Oh, and by the way, if you want to read a great book, check out The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander. It's the first book of the outstanding Pridane Chronicles. If you like Harry Potter and Percy Jackson, you're sure.